Hello and welcome back. This is video number seven and we're going to talk about creating these simple pieces of content. Now I'm going to show you different tools that you can use to create these pieces of content. Some of them range from using a site called Get Stencil, Canva, and more. I'm going to show you how to use Get Stencil in just a minute. Okay, so the first site is getstencil.com. So it's stencil, but it's getstencil.com. I like to use this site primarily because it really is created for social media engagement. So all the images, all the templates that they give you are primarily focused on social media. Now, there are other sites like canva.com, so that's C-A-N-V-A.com. This site will allow you to create other social media images as well, but it, it goes beyond that. It allows you to create things like e-covers and all that. So that's why I really like to focus on Get Stencil. Now, it does cost some money, but you can start out for free. You can create, I believe... A few images, I think it's 10. So if we click on pricing, as you can see, the free version allows you to create up to seven images per month. What I recommend is go with the free version first, utilize it first if you like it, then upgrade. All right. So what Get Stencil allows you to do is it allows you to get access to tons of images and tons of motivational quotes. So that's why I like it, because you can find quotes that are built in. Now, even though maybe you're focusing on knitting, scuba diving, or whatever niche that you're in, you can utilize the quotes that, in the words that we talked about in the previous video. But if you are aware of the audience, and they're all women, maybe they're all men, you can use generic motivational quotes that are built in to get stencil. So to give you an idea of how to go about doing that, let me go ahead and log into my account and show you around. Okay, so I went ahead and logged into my get stencil accounts and this is what we see. So when you have the free account, you will still see all of the images but the images that you don't have access to will have a lock. All right, so that will tell you that you'll need to upgrade. But for the most part, I would say start with the free version so that you can get a hang of it. So what I recommend that you do is do a search for photos that appeal to your audience. Now, the reason why we did the audience research and looked at the affinity audiences and all of that was to gain a broader spectrum. So not only are we looking for a specific niche, but we're looking for images that appeal to that person. So if we know that our niche is filled with all women, we may want to stick with images that appeal to women. So for example, animals, beauty and fashion, and maybe love, maybe nature, maybe people, maybe textures. So you see what I'm saying here? We are really not focusing specifically on the niche, but we're really focusing on the person. All right, all right so let's say we want to use a generic motivational quote for that audience. This is how super and fast it is and easy it is. So let's say, for example, we want to use this one here. So all you have to do is simply click it. It gets in the background and you can enter text. So you can double click this and enter any text you want based on the content and the powerful words that you have researched. Or you can simply go to their quote section and you can see that they have about 10,000 plus quotes. So we can think, okay, the audience is women. So maybe we can focus on something like confidence. 
So what we can do is, and what we like to do is, if it is women, we like to try and find uh, quotes by women. So that way we stick with the audience. So we could click on that. And what's nice is when you click on that, it'll automatically create the text. So we could move it over here like so. And do that. Now, of course, when you're ready to edit it, you can go ahead and change the text size here. You can change the line height, the drop shadow. If you want it to stand out, you can italicize it. You can underline it like that. You can change the text color. You can change the outline color, which is the outline or the border around the text. And of course you can change the background color as well. So if we wanted to do something like that, we could do that. But in general, we like to kind of stick with a generic, something like this, like that. And when, when you're done, all you have to do is click on save and you could save it as a template if you wanted to. So we could click on save and it'll save the image. And what's nice about Get Stencil is it will actually save it to your account. And there we go. Now, if you don't want to use something like that from scratch, you can go ahead and click on templates and you can look for featured templates. So if you go through here and you find a template that matches something that you have seen based on the research that you have done previously, you can go with that. So we can go through here. We can click this one here. And there we go. So we see an image here and then we see text. So if that's the format that you like, then stick with that. Now, what I recommend that you do with all of your images to try to keep things uniform and consistent is to stick with one template. That way, as people get to know you better and they follow you and they engage with you, that format will embed into their minds and whenever they see that format, they will think of you. All right, so psychologically, that is what happens. All right, so that's how easy it is to create content with Get Stencil. We utilize this all the time and we create tons and tons of images with powerful words and quotes and funny comments and all of that. And we actually outsource this out. So we have someone and we can say we want 365 images with quotes by women. And, or you can create an Excel spreadsheet and ask them to copy the words in and ask them to find images that fit that demographic. Or another thing you can do is if you want to find images that directly relate to that particular niche and you can't find that within Get Stencil, you can go to a royalty-free site, you can purchase the images, and then of course you go to uploads here and simply drag and drop the images right here or you can select this and then find the images and upload them and there you go. So that's how easy it is and let's talk about organizing your images in the next video. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.